guys, welcome to Rants and Rays, I'm Jacqueline St. James, and I'm here this month to talk about city decorating of Wilton Manors. I'm very sorry to say, but I'm very saddened by this year's decorations for Halloween, and I don't mean Wicked Manors, for I believe they did a great job, but I'm talking about Wilton Manors City as a whole. Actually, not just Halloween, but for any event or holiday here in Wilton Manors. Only a handful of storefronts decorated this year, and the ones who didn't, you know who you are, and shame on you. To be one of the gayest cities in America, we should be shunned. Boy, I remember a time when Halloween was a big holiday when stores and homes decorated. I mean, it's sad that we have lost this tradition. And I don't even want to talk about Thanksgiving. You know, Wilton Manor's put in these great light posts throughout the strip with flag attachments, and yet most of the time, they're empty. They could have been utilized this month for the Wicked Manor celebration. I have never seen gay flags put up in respect to Stonewall Festival or Pride Fest fall holidays or anything mentioned that Halloween Wicked Manors was coming. I'm not sure why the city is not utilizing these advertising spaces to their potential, but here are a few examples for you. Throughout most gay neighborhoods, there is pride throughout their city, and I think that our city is lacking. Here are a few examples of what other cities are doing. In Vancouver, Permanent painted crosswalks. That would be nice to see at the Four Point intersection in front of the Wilton Manor shops. In the Castro area of San Francisco, flags are upon light posts depicting the gay district. A simple sign hung at both ends of Wilton Drive depicting an event instead of that ugly lighted sign on the side of the road which usually depicts road construction. Take a look at what I'm talking about. San Diego and many cities have painted crosswalks and rainbow colors in the center of town and gay pride flags that are put up by the city. Now, I'm not just saying that this needs to be pride oriented, but there are a lot of festivities that we have here in Wilton Manors that we need to show our spirit, whether it's Stonewall Festival, Halloween, Wicked Manors, Taste of the Town, Art Walk, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and any other thing that we should be calling attention to. I mean, we deserve more than just a digital road sign. I mean, how cheap. As for the storefronts, well, those who decorated, they know who they are, and kudos to you for keeping things alive and festive. To the ones who didn't, again, shame on you. I mean, I'm not asking for Macy's Christmas windows, but damn, please, it is by far known that gays can decorate, and we do it very well. So I say, get out there, start decorating the town, and let's be festive. Let's advertise as much as we do on Facebook and draw the people in. I mean, it doesn't take that much time or money to decorate for the events. I mean, like the Christmas tree in Wilton Manors. I mean, it's tired. It needs new decorations, a whole overhaul. But anyway, I think we need to look on how we represent ourselves here in our island city and start promoting our events so we can inform all people of our events. Not everyone reads Hot Spots magazine or Gay magazine or, or Guy magazine or the Florida agenda. And one street sign letting people know that the road is going to be closed for an event. I'm sorry. I would rate the city of Wilton Manor's decorating skills, the lack of skills, and the use of advertising and getting the information to the public about events held in the city, a two lipstick rating. I mean, it is time to revamp and get the city where it belongs, and to again hold that title for number one gay city in America. For Rants and Raves, I'm Jacqueline St. James. Thanks for watching.